Today, I'm gonna to share with you my first impressions on House of Mammoth Santa Noir, as well as the Gillette Flat Bottom Tech. Coming right up. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you stopped by for today's video. I have a first impressions video uh, for you today of two items. First is a razor that's on loan, and that is this Gillette Flat Bottom Tech. The one that you can find most commonly in the States is a fairly mild razor. However, what I've been told about the Flat Bottom Tech as well as the Hybrid Tech is that this is smoother and more efficient than the standard tech. And it just so happened that my good friend Anthony Bravor over on Instagram had both the Flat Bottom Tech and the Hybrid Tech and was gracious enough to loan both to me. So a big shout out and thank you to Anthony who has loaned me these razors and other razors in the past. Thanks to him, I've been able to try things that uh, would have never been on my radar. So. All right, so I thought we'd take a closer look at the English flat bottom tech, given that it's hard to show off the details in the bathroom. So this is a standard three piece razor and the tech design in general is just very popular. I mean, the threading, would work. I could swap out this handle for a modern handle if I wanted to. This is, you know, in actuality, a very light razor. So taking a closer look at the handle here, you can see some nice details. And, you know, oftentimes you'll find, you know, scratches, brassing, and other, what normally would be imperfections. But for vintage razors, I'm okay, you know, to a degree, of course, but uh, overall, I'm okay I think those are kind of details that make the piece unique and totally acceptable. Now a closer look at the head here, I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up um, and kind of the angle I'm holding it, but you can still see the Gillette stamp here on the top cap. Here's a view, the profile, you can see in the design what's called flat bottom. The standard text that you see in the United States have a tri raised triangle kind of beveled up uh, in the middle here. This is just perfectly flush. And of course, it's got the stamp at the bottom. I can't see a date code to this, but I know, you know, these are probably made in England, probably like starting from the 40s and for a few decades after that. Here's the bottom, the base plate rather. You can see the horizontal bars here, and the post actually does a really good job holding the blade in. The flat bottom tech also came with, I believe this is the original case. Uh, either way, it's like these vintage razors, it's always cool to see because they would, you know, typically have some wear and tear, unless you get something like new old stock, but this tin here also has a tuck of vintage uh, razor blades which I'm not using today. Here's the, I didn't want them to fall out, but there's the original, original blades? <laughs> Some vintage blades right there. The actual blade I will be using though is a Pole Silver Super Iridium. I just want to start out with something that's familiar. Actually, now that I think about it, Anthony also sent me some vintage razor blades, which I'll uh, throw up a quick picture of right here. So I'll be trying those two in uh, one of my upcoming shaves. And as for the software, this is also a first impressions there. This is Santa Noir by House of Mammoth, and we have both the soap right here, as well as the splash. And this soap was also an exclusive to our wet shaving on Reddit. Uh, although usually with the Reddit exclusives, it's open to anyone. You just have to have the, uh, the proper link. Just look at the label. This is a very fun, festive label. Uh, and quick backstory to this is, there was a collaboration soap, Mammoth worked with Australian Private Reserve, um, I think earlier this year or late last year, and created the scent called Santal Noir, a beautiful dark sandalwood type scent. Now Santa Noir, that's what the L crossed out, was born from a typo that this guy made when I think writing up a shave of the day and leaving out the L, I guess it got things going, working in Ben's brain, uh, Ben from Mammoth. So you take that typo and Ben's crazy mind kind of running with it, trying to come up with a scent. And you know, Santa Noir was born maybe a couple months later. So let's uh, take a quick sniff off the tub here. 
So it's definitely a dark scent uh, as its predecessor. And I would say it's not super strong off the tub, although I do see the potential of this really opening up once lathered up. I would say this is maybe like a four uh, out of 10 on scent strength. And I will say, I, I would characterize it as polarizing right out of the gate. This is by no means off-putting to me, but I think there's a kind of musk, musky note in here that it's gonna be a turn off to people who like many fresher uh, cologne type scents. This is definitely a, kind of a dark complex scent off the tub, but I think there's a lot more kind of lying just underneath. So we'll get more into the scent in just a little bit. And lastly for the brush, we have this beauty right here, Decoration Grooming Blood of Kings 2.0 with a B9 A plus knot. This one happens to be on loan from Ben from Mammoth as well, and it'll be making its way back home to him very soon. The red in this brush, very festive, and I think goes perfectly for today's shave. As for beard growth, I'm working with four days worth. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I finally got that haircut, so uh, my head's kind of cold nowadays, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I guess that extra uh, extra hair on top had really just provided extra warmth. Now that you know the temperature has been like under 40 degrees, I'm kind of feeling and missing it, but at the same time, I'm much more presentable, especially for any photos coming up you know, with the family uh, for the holidays. So, you know, I'll take it. Before we get any further, if this is your first time to the channel, Welcome and thank you so much for checking things out. I'm your host John, aka Lather Hog. If you're enjoying this video or other videos on this channel, please hit that like button. And if you haven't done so already, please consider becoming a subscriber and you'll be notified whenever a new video drops. All right, so as I'm lathering up, let me share with you the official scent notes. So the official scent notes of Santa Noir include cassis, balsam, jasmine, honey, sandalwood, and deer musk. Now, as I suspected, this scent and the different notes in here are really opening up much more than just off the tub. And that's kind of a good, uh, little good rule of thumb anyway. Uh, with soaps, which are not, you know, not the ideal medium uh, to really experience a scent. If you guys ever buy a new tub and you're not sure on the scent, at least lather it up. Whether it is, uh, whether you scoop you know, into a bowl and you bowl lather or you face lather, I think when you're working with more complex scents, don't go you know, just based off of what's coming off the tub. Because you might really be missing out on a, on, you know, on a banger of a scent. I know years ago, I had received a tub of night music um, from Barrister and Man uh, from a pass round. And that was one where I took off the lid, gave it one one good whiff, and said no, because <laughs> I didn't even bother using the soap, which I honestly, I regret uh, this day. Granted, even as, as far as like my fragrances and shaving scents go, um, my, my nose didn't, de definitely did not encounter um, as much as I have now, so. I didn't really know, you know, kind of that little rule of thumb prior. The off-putting note in that one was uh, a musky note that basically came off kind of poopy. And I've, <laughs> I've used that word before, most recently with Lothar Grooming's Namka, which I did lather, I did use. And while it had this animalic funkiness, muskiness uh, just off the tub, it was truly a wonderful scent. In fact, one of my favorites from 2021. As Santa Noir has opened up during my lathering, I can tell you two notes that are probably really, really, you know, polarizing certain people. And that's Jasmine and Deer Musk. Uh, Jasmine, although a, fl a floral, it has that, uh, you know, in, in the right combination or the right level, that can become kind of off-putting as well. It gets into that fecal animal territory for some reason. Um, those who are, you know, better versed in perfuming can probably explain what's actually happening chemical-wise. But I just know that jasmine is, uh, it's a tricky note to work with. Pair that as well with deer musk, which, I mean, that's gonna be, that is supposed to be animalic. Now the good news is, I'm finding the combination of notes to really, uh, really balance, balance each other out really well. 
This is still a scent that leans dark for sure, but it, it is really unique. And I really like, yeah, I really like what I'm getting as far as like there's some fruity notes, some woody notes, that musk comes in, a floral, floral hit from jasmine. Santa Noir definitely falls into that category of off the tub, it's not an instant like, but now that I'm in the process of, you know, lathering it up and getting ready for a shave, it is quite enjoyable. All right, so we are lathered up and ready to go. A quick look. And let's go in for that first pass with the Gillette Flat Bottom Tech. So really impressive first pass, uh, especially for never using the flat bottom tech before. I am surprised, you know, compared to uh, the efficiency I'm used to with a standard Gillette tech, the flat bottom, yeah, for sure increased efficiency. And I've heard people who are big fans of this razor say that it, it shaves more like a uh, like a modern razor. A lot of modern razors kind of have that characteristic of being low blade feel and medium to high efficiency, which you know, long time viewers of the channel will know that's that kind of describes my ideal razor. So with four days worth of beard growth, I, I would not normally expect that much hair to be mowed down uh, in one pass. So really impressed. Uh, yeah, really impressed by this razor. I might have to, uh, I might seriously have to consider hunting one down. But uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's lather up for the second pass now. As I'm getting to know this scent more, I want to say that the dominant note I'm getting is that cassis. And it's like this ripe red fruity kind of note and the other notes in the scent are complementing that one. So it's kind of like they're pairing off. So sometimes I get the cassis and some sandalwood. Sometimes it's the cassis and some of the deer musk. It's really proving itself to be a very enjoyable scent, a very intriguing scent. So just feeling around after the second pass, man, it is, a, it is a clean shave, guys. Super impressed by this. I can see why there are big fans of this razor. I'm gonna go for a third pass just cause, um, I think just from the, from the buildup, there are kind of two patches right here in my neck area that tend to, uh, tend to have more growth. So we're just gonna clean that up real quick. All right, so really, really great performance. Really great first outing with the uh, Gillette flat bottom tech. Uh, let me get to the aftershave before I forget. Give it a shake. I didn't mention this before, but besides being a darker scent, I do believe this one leans heavily masculine. Now that I'm using the aftershave splash, I would say, or rather I would characterize this scent as a woody musk. So if that kind of sounds like, you know, uh, in your wheelhouse, you should check it out. Even as someone who, uh, who's starting to learn to like musks more and can certainly appreciate darker scents. This one, this one is good. It gets a thumbs up for me, at least. Uh, I wasn't sure 
before going in, um, just you know, when the package arrived, I opened up the tub. I wasn't sure, I wasn't sure which way this was gonna go, but I tried to keep an open mind. I'm really glad I did, because I think this one, again, it's a really unique scent. Uh, it takes you on a, on a journey. Uh, it's not gonna remind you traditionally of like Christmas things, even though it is a Christmas themed, holiday themed scent. But if you read into the scent description a little bit, the more you know, the more artsy side of things, you see that deer musk was chosen to represent the reindeer and kind of uh, really nice touches like that. So even though it might not smell like gingerbread cookies or pine or evergreen, um, it did have a very you know a playful, creative story behind it. As for the soap base itself, the tusk. Soap base from Mammoth. This is currently in my A tier. I will say that this is on the cusp of being in the S tier. Now as for the razor, you guys can probably tell, I'm very happy with the results of this today. What a, really, what a shave with a, with a vintage, no less. And while I have vintage razors in my collection, and there's some that I enjoy, they don't nearly, you know, they don't, they don't pop up in the rotation as much as my modern razors. I don't, you know, if this was in my den and not on loan from a friend, this would definitely be in the in the regular rotation. So, yeah, I think I think I know what I'll be hunting for in uh, <laughs> in the coming months. So uh, I'll be using this one as well as the Hybrid Tech um, in in the next few shaves, just to kind of get to know these better. We'll see. I mean, you know, usually when I'm this impressed with a razor from the first go. I don't usually change my mind from that, so I don't know, stay tuned, find out, see what happens. But anyway, that's going to do it for today's shave. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday season. Stay safe, stay positive. I'll catch you in the next video. Take care. Today's video was made possible in part by our wonderful patrons. For more information about our Patreon, check out patreon.com slash lathertalk. You can also check out our Etsy store and pick up a comfy Lather Talk t-shirt or coffee mug. Find all the links down below.